The dentist is accused of sending racist and threatening messages to hundreds of people. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. The dentist is Dr. Richard Cantwell. He was in federal court today. He's been charged with three counts of interstate transmission of a threat to injure. News Channel 8's Marilyn Parker joins us now live outside the federal courthouse with the very latest on this story. Marilyn. Well, the public defender tried to argue that this was not a crime of violence. He even tried to go into the allegations, but the judge cut him off. He said, I will not have somebody killed on my watch. He says Cantwell will remain detained. And when he said that, I watched Cantwell put his head down right before they took him out of the courtroom. What do we know about Dr. Richard Cantwell? In a motion for pre-release, defense attorneys say he's a 60-year-old dentist who practices in Zephyr Hills, a grandfather who once served in the U.S. Army. Federal prosecutors say Cantwell first ended up on the FBI's radar almost five years ago, 2019, after agents say he sent hundreds of messages to politicians, celebrities, authors, and others, many of them threats. The FBI interviewed Cantwell and gave him a warning, but Despite the warning, agents say Cantwell spent the next 10 months sending threats to more than 40 victims on social media and email. Like this one from July 2020, reading in part, cannot wait to shoot your ghetto expletive in the street. You will die like every other expletive. In 2021, FBI agents reportedly attempted to interview Cantwell again, but the dentist refused and sent this message saying expletive you, God bless America, expletive Biden, with a middle finger emoji. Prosecutors included a message from February of this year where he threatened a politician via Facebook saying in part, liberal expletives like you get raped in alleys by really big black guys that serve our cause. Cantwell's defense attorney said that his client struggles with depression, PTSD and alcoholism and has no criminal history. Cantwell is being held in the Pinellas County Jail. We're waiting on the court to confirm when the next hearing in this case will be. And if he's convicted on all three counts, he could face 15 years in federal prison. We're live in downtown Tampa tonight. Marilyn Parker, 8 on your side.